Thank you. Realty Track is tracking the number of households facing foreclosure. They do say that fell 2% last month, the first annual decline in five years. However, the number of borrowers losing homes is still going up. The banks took back a record 92,000 homes last month. But help is on the way because there is a new organization to help these homeowners avoid a foreclosure. Joining us live from Washington is Marietta Rodriguez. She is the Director for Homeownership and Lending for something called NeighborWorks America. Ms. Rodriguez, good to see you. Good morning, Joe. How are you? We are fine, thank you. First, tell us what NeighborWorks America does. NeighborWorks America is a national organization that supports 235 locally based uh, nonprofits that focus on housing and community development across the country. Uh, and, and helping families in their financial distress and their mortgage distress is something we're very committed to. How new are you folks? I will admit that I have not heard of you before this. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Joe. Actually, NeighborWorks America has been around for 30 years. Uh -oh, we're sorry. a congressionally chartered public nonprofit, and uh, we're, uh, we have many organizations across the country, including Austin. Well, is it typical that NeighborWorks America just deals with foreclosures? I would assume you've got a lot more on your plate than that. Absolutely. No, we, we help families who are looking to purchase their first homes. Many of our organizations uh, manage rental properties. Uh, so all aspects of affordable housing and community development. Well, uh, is this foreclosure problem just getting pushed to the forefront now because it's getting so critical? It, it is a critical issue. It has been, I would say, for the last four years. You know, when we launched our first Ad Council campaign on foreclosure, we were looking at close to a million families in 2007 at risk of foreclosure. That number is four million today, um, and it's um, it's increasing. There are more people who are unemployed. There are uh, m more homes that are losing value. It's it's a critical issue all over the country. At times, does it seem almost too daunting for you folks to sort out? We, we, we don't really look at it that way. There's always, uh, there's always hope, and, and you can always avoid foreclosure. You may not always be able to save your home, but the best thing for folks to do is to reach out to the right people. There are so many scam artists out there that are looking to steal resources and homes from folks in distress. So even however daunting it might be, there is, um, there is hope and there are people who are reputable and reliable that can help. And uh, we have uh, the Homeowners Hope Hotline, which is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week in many, many languages. Um, and you can also go to the website foreclosurehelpandhope.org and find a local organization, uh, a local HUD-approved housing counseling organization that can uh, assist a family or an individual sort through their issues. Well, I, and let me ask you this before we go, because we are out of time, and it may not be a fair question. I don't know if you have the statistics. How do, are we faring here in Texas? Texas has a foreclosure issue. There are pockets of the state that are doing better than others, but um, there's a, a, um, a, a set of mortgages that are due to change, to reset in the next three quarters. Some of those are in Texas, and so um, there is a risk for a little bump up in Texas, quite frankly. That's why it's really critical that folks um, get on their issue early and reach out to the right people. True. Marietta Rodriguez, NeighborWorks America. Thank you for the visit. We appreciate it. Thank you.